It's built in. So let's go back to Peter Johnson, the inside sales rep, and note at the top of the screen a notification that we have a new lead. They're interested in the software, but they've got to have that lamp. So basically all of the details and information as I select it that the customer entered into the system was automatically captured in the internal CRM. No delays. And note, I was notified right away. So whether I'm in the field with my handheld device or in the main office as an inside sales rep or wherever I am, you get that notification. And taking that one step further, look what it did. It created a lead on our internal system. I can store notes communications. I have a tracking and audit trail for all of the processes that we'll walk through to qualify this lead. You can see those at the top in the tab. I also want to point out AXAC CRM deduplication is notifying us that, hey, wait a minute, we have a company called Eurolandia already in our system. You better double check and make sure it's not the same. Why is that? Well, because we don't want 20 different Yerlandias created as leads if they are, in fact, the same company. And you can see here with address and phone number, they are. So by pushing two buttons, I'm going to take that lead and populate it within a company that already exists in our database. And that's Dunnery. For the purpose of this demonstration, I am still Peter Johnson, and I've already contacted Kieran. So I noticed that, wow, Kieran hung up the phone, and he went right to the website. Now, you can go through a long or a short qualification process, as I'm sure you do. But for this example, we're going to convert this lead to an opportunity by pushing that button on the right-hand side. Because I already know that this is an opportunity to sell product. I'm going to make some changes to the description here. The source, website, type, do we know? Products and services, consulting. Now, again, every drop-down in this system is customizable to your needs, and we'll make those changes later. It time and date stamps when we converted it to an opportunity. Territory management could route this directly to a salesperson, but I'm going to walk you through the process here so you understand that there's two ways to do it. Also, tying Marketing to sales. When we mail merged that document to the list and we sent that document out, we not only sent it out to the customers, but we, we stored the lamp promotion piece of collateral in the customer file. So when we contact the customer, we have access to it, or when that customer contacts us and whoever in the enterprise picks up the phone and Karen says, oh, hi, I just got a great promotional piece in the mail, Whoever answers the telephone goes to the company or the person and looks in their communications, launches the document, and reads it back to the customer verbatim. That's how we know how to attach marketing activities to sales opportunities. No administrative time. It's there for you. The stage is still a lead. Status is in progress. I'm a customer service rep. I don't deal with forecasting or certainty to close. I'm going to manually assign this to Susan May, even though, again, we could have territory management route it. And you know what? At Panoply Technologies, they teach us that everything needs to close by. So you could easily have all of those fields pre-populated if your sales cycle is that templatized. I don't imagine it is. You can add fields or remove fields to any of these screens. What have we done? We've created a unique opportunity called LAMP Promotion in the system. Up top. That is stored within the company or Landia. It's stored within the person, Kieran O'Toole. It's also stored within Susan Mays, the internal salesperson's list of opportunities, which we'll show you in a second. Within this opportunity, as the inside sales rep, I'm going to notify Susan to call this customer. So I'm going to select communications and create a task. Call customer. ASAP was on the call list and then went right to the website. Very interested. 
set a reminder. I can set status level, priority. Again, territory management can route it. I can automatically create follow-up tasks or appointments by checking these boxes so I don't have to retype everything. I'm going to assign this to Susan. And I'll remove myself from this. And select Save. So that's task management. Task management, scheduling, all of that exists in CRM. My preference is that all of that is automated through workflow. And it can be. But I want to show you what can be. I want to show you you have options. So, time to change hats again. Susan Mays. Susan is our field sales rep. Susan's out in the field. She works from home. She works from a handheld device. She's out quite frequently, and that's where we want her, out selling. So you can see Susan logs into her what? Her list of sales opportunities by stage with details. If you see on the right-hand side, you can see a list of her opportunities, the forecasted amount, the weighted forecast, the average certainty to close. We just got the notification from Peter, again, whether I'm on my desktop or on my handheld, to alert me that we need to call this customer on the ramp promotion. The pipeline you see here actually allows me to filter out my sales. So if I just want to review the deals that are in the stage of proposal submitted, I select that on the pipeline, and it drills down to those three. It not only drills down to those three, but my sales statistics reflect only those three. I'll dismiss my notification here. Let's also go check out our leads. And there's our lamp promotion. So let's open up that opportunity and give Karen a call. The first thing I note is that ah, it's a valid phone number, it's a valid customer in the system, so I'm going to accept that lead. And this is where workflow starts in the lower right-hand corner. Why would I want to reject that lead? Well, you all know that customers come up and kick tires, and they type in ASDF, 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 whatever that is, and we want to filter those out. We want to clean those out. So we simply reject the lead, and it goes back to the marketing department and alerts them that, hey, this is no good. Look at the tabs of information that are available for us to use within the Opportunity Lamp Promotion. A list of inventory and opportunity items. That's for offline quoting. Notes, communications, document library for incoming or outgoing files, a tracking and audit trail. All available within this opportunity. But let's talk about workflow for a minute. Okay. We are now in the lower left-hand corner at the stage of lead. Workflow is very simply this, if-then statements. If our stage is lead, then what do we want to do for our salespeople to be successful? Well, on the right-hand side, we have some radio buttons for workflow. We want to qualify the lead. Do we want to submit a proposal right away? Do we want to reassign it because we're too busy right now? Well, let's qualify this lead. I have some mandatory fields that I need my salespeople to fill out. Now, again, you can add or subtract some fields in this system. So we contacted the customer, very interested, and they want an on-site demo. So now, again, as I walk through this, remember, we're progressing it through your sales cycle. I've designed this for this particular company, but we sit down and design your business processes into the system. So now on the left-hand side, we're at the stage of qualified. What can we do? We can submit a proposal. We can reassign. We can negotiate. We can do a demonstration. So I'm going to just select demonstration. Progress it to that next stage. And let's make some changes here. Okay. On-site went very well with client wants pricing information. Okay. Save that. So as you can see, we've progressed this through the system. Now I think more importantly, if we go to the company Yerlandia, what we want to make sure is 
is we want to make sure that this customer is, first of all, an AR customer already. They may not be. If we just got them through the trade show in the first time, we may need the ability to promote them to a back office customer. By selecting the Promote to Customer tab, we have the ability to convert non-AR customers to AR customers by simply entering in a customer number, their credit limit, and some terms information. So through security, you can only have your AR financial people doing this, but you're not cluttering your AR database with non-customers, and you don't have to have somebody manually type them in again into your accounting solution. This currently exists out of the box for ACPAC Pro Series and ACPAC Advantage Series. We promote that customer. We check that information. Let's go back to their opportunities and show you the two ways that you can provide that customer quotes. So I'm going to select the lamp promotion opportunity. And we've got a couple of ways to provide quotes. If I select the Opportunity Items tab, I have the ability to add inventory and opportunity items. And those prices could be pre-established in there to this list. So they're stored as a separate table in the CRM database. You can see our total quoted price in the lower left-hand corner. So why would we do that? Well, we would do that so you would have a list of inventory items to send a quote or to mail merge to your proposal templates offline or if you're non-integrated to the ACPAC Advantage Series. If you are integrated to the ACPAC Advantage Series, we've got the ACPAC Quote tab. What the ACPAC Quote tab allows me to do is it allows me to literally launch the entire order entry module for ACPAC Advantage Series within my Internet Explorer browser wherever I have a connection. So now I can enter a quote directly into the back office. I do not have to synchronize data. This happens in real time. I have 100% access, and you'll notice it populated customer number 333 populated your Lendia. It gave us a quote instead of an active order. I have full access to inventory items and inventory control. And in this case, remember, we're giving them a Howard's and Death Light. So all of those other vendors out there that claim to have integration to back office products cannot even compete with ACTAC CRM because they're synchronizing data. They're not literally giving you 100% of the functionality of the CRM solution. I'll close that quote. And look what's happened in the background. We're actually reading into that quote automatically in real time wherever we have an Internet Explorer browser. This is the quote we just created, quote number 19. So, Susan May entered that order or that quote from her field sales office or her home. And now the customer tries to call her back and can't get a hold of her. So calls the main office and gets a hold of Peter and says, hey, you know what? I can't live without those halogen death lights. Why don't you go ahead and process that order for me? So I'm going to search or I'm going to use my recent drop-down list and select your Landia. I'm going to go to the opportunities. I'm going to select that lamp promotion opportunity, and I'm going to review the quote with the customer to make sure that we're on the same page. The customer agrees, and I select one button, promote to order. What it's doing for me right now is it's converting this sales order in the back office, converting the quote, excuse me, to a sales order in the back office, which it has done so. Order number 81 has been created. It has not only converted the back office, so it's printing out my pick tickets in my warehouse for my warehouse management solution to pick, pack, and ship our products. It's ready to be invoiced. All of that happens automatically in the back office. But it's also progressed 
our front office opportunity to the stage of sale agreed in status one. So if we go back to our original marketing example, we now know we've closed another product, sale agreed, because of that one marketing campaign in real time. So if I select the tracking and audit trail, we time and date stamp everything. Who is involved? Any changes they made to forecast, certainly to close, to notes. So we have a wonderful view of our sales cycle, how long we're taking at each stage of the sales cycle. Why are we spending 140 hours on average in the negotiating stage? Why are we constantly losing deals? One of the things that Peter probably would have done before he promoted that quote to an order was checked into your Landia's credit history by selecting the credit information tab. What this gives me is my ability to understand do they have enough balance and credit limit? Are they currently on credit hold real time from the AR back office? Integration takes us a little bit further with ACPAC CRM. You not only saw me enter a quote, but how about the ability to review and enter AR invoices? Or orders, future orders, standing orders, quotes. How about AP invoices? ACPAC CRM provides you 100% of the functionality of accounts receivable, accounts payable, order entry modules through the CRM solution seamless to your users. Why is this important? It's important because when my financial people make changes or notes in the system, everyone in the enterprise has access to that information also. Before I go to place an order, I know if they have enough balance or credit or if they're on credit hold, creating customer loyalty and synergy. I'm also trained as a customer service rep to thank our customers when they buy products from us. So I'm going to go into the person your, uh, at your Landia, Kieran O'Toole, the person that actually placed the order. And I'm going to select on Kieran's email address. And I'm going to select a template that we've created in the CRM solution that introduces our support department and thanks our customers for buying our products. Now, again, this can be an automatic trigger by workflow. It can automatically send out these emails, but I want to show you the email manager built into the system. And I can just send that directly from here. Okay. This will create a communication within Kieran's communications, you can see here. And we should see our welcome from Panoply tech support sent today at 11.03. Anyone in the enterprise can review that email if the customer calls in with questions. So let's change hats. Let's actually go in as the customer to Kieran O'Toole's inbox. Kieran has just received our email. We would like to thank you for your recent purchase of our time and expense software and hope you enjoy your free halogen desk lamp. With ACPAC CRM workflow, we could also automatically create a follow-up call a week later to make sure that Kieran did, in fact, get his product on time. But for this example, let's move into a support functionality. Let's say Kieran got the software, and he plugged that lamp in, and he loves that lamp. But he's having problems installing the software. So he can click the hyperlink we provided him, or... Enter in our support at panoplytech.com email address. Unable to install the software. Getting blue screen. Okay. And you can send that off to us. Back at ACPAC, or back at Panoply Technologies, we're going to actually log out and change hats as an inside customer support technician. Now, Kylie, you'll notice, prefers to log into his list of support cases right away. 